Pine Tree and this is Stitchless TV. Now today's video is going to be a bit different because it's a video that I've sort of been putting off which just makes me feel like I should do it even more. So a few weeks ago I was lucky, lucky enough to be invited by Sarah Corbett who is a really well-known gentle activist and she believes that the gentle art of protest can be quite powerful particularly if it's also done through crafting now she has a new campaign this summer which is about climate change now when she asked me honestly I was terrified <laughs> because I thought oh isn't it enough that I'm a vegetarian and isn't it enough that I've got like 22 videos on how to do upcycling do I really have to say something about climate change because what do I know about climate change so it made me feel very uncomfortable because I haven't got any answers but Sarah really is a pro she's done like TED talks she goes to all the climate change summits and that's actually why she's doing this campaign this year because apparently it's in Glasgow so I asked Sarah Corbett writer of the book craftism and um, the creator of the craftism collective which however you think politically do go and have a look because there are lots of interesting articles on her website and lovely lovely products like these i love a label that has like a meaningful uh comment anyway i'm digressing and deflecting um okay so i said to her oh, do you have to ask me and she said, well, obviously, you don't need to do it if you don't want to, but it would be really lovely, Tree, if you could participate. And she said, we've decided to use the canary as a theme for the climate change campaign this year. And we've got people that are making handmade crocheted, handmade sewn and handmade made cross stitch canaries you can get this template to make this canary and you know mr stitch you must know mr stitch so he's created a free template to do this cross stitch canary so all of it's on her website um actually i haven't explained i haven't explained enough about why canaries gosh but you probably know more than me so apparently canaries used to be so sent down the the mines because if the air quality was bad the canaries would die but but also the canaries were sent down into the trenches if there were like gases down there and that i know i'm going all over the show you can tell i'm nervous so she said to me, um, we'd love it if you could take part in a photo shoot and if you could just make a cape and then afterwards, if you could do a simple tutorial on how anyone can make a cape with the view to people making their own capes and then sitting in little flocks yeah, that made me feel very awkward. Just to provoke comment. So, I felt so uncomfortable about it because I haven't done anything like that before. Shall I show you the cape now? <laughs> I'll show you some of the photos from the photo shoot on Parliament Hill. So the idea is that we were supposed to gather in a flock and she's recommending that other people gather in small groups when they've made their capes um, to gather in small groups rather than big groups so it isn't intimidating 
and exactly what she said did happen. So we sat in a little group, I can't remember how many are there, there's like six or seven of us, and so many people obviously were asking us what we were doing, so it meant that a conversation started up about climate change, which I believe is the intention. But, but more what the intention is, she would like, you have to go to the website for the kind of real in-depth stuff, but she would like people who quietly and loudly care about climate change, if they get time to hand sew a canary similar to these or do your own thing, but there are tutorials on the website, and then write a little message to your MP or anyone you want to your newspaper, put it in a little parcel and send it to them. Because the idea is, is they have found that it's very difficult for people to throw away something that looks clearly handmade and has been laboured over. So I think that sounds quite good, really. That kind of makes sense to me. Anyway, let's go back to what I was supposed to do. <laughs> um, so yeah, we did the photo shoot. Barley was in the photo shoot from Fabrications. She's she's got a brilliant, a brilliant upcycle shirt cake tutorial on the Craftivist Collective website. And then Mum Taz, she took part as well, and loads of other people as well. And all their tutorials are free on on the the website. Okay, so me, <laughs> so. They took some really lovely pictures of the cake that I made. But we were also, yeah, she was encouraging us. You didn't have to, um, you know, make, make coordinating masks to sort of signify beaks and also that whole air quality thing. Hopefully you can see it properly. I made a, a cape that I've got a bit carried away with. That's the front and can you see, whoops, let me touch this thing. Can you see the back? Hopefully the lining isn't pulling. Yeah, gosh. I don't, I don't look, I don't think they intended upon me um, making a lined cape. I haven't done the thing for the arms yet. Um, yeah. And I think it's quite nice. But, but really, <laughs> what I need to do is to make a simpler cape. Something a bit more like this. Ideally hand sewn. Because at the Craftivist Collective, they like the projects to be hand sewn so that as you make the craft, the product, the thing, you actually are thinking about the cause, which I think that's sort of quite good, isn't it? So you can have a closer look. Let me put my boot on. So if you have a look, you have a closer look. Shall I talk you? <laughs> Easy to talk without a mask, eh? Then um, I'll talk. I'll talk you through the fabrics. So can you see? Can you see that? So that's a skirt fabric. That's the toweling fabric. And all of the frills are made from the, might even have been silk blouse actually, but it had loads of stains in the armpits. So three things. Do go and look at the Craftivist Collective Gentle Art of Protest <laughs> website. It is interesting and it isn't 
you know, there's nothing really heavy there. Also, whether you do or you don't care about the planet, <laughs> my next video is actually about how I created the fabric for this by upcycling clothes. And then the third thing, I should probably a few more things. The third thing is I will be doing a tutorial on a hand sew simple cape that will be similar to the ones that Sarah made. And there'll be some tips for how to do applique letters really easily. And then I guess the last thing is, why don't you have a look at creating your own little canary and maybe adding a message, popping it in the post to local MP, to somebody that you think should be thinking about it. So this is really awkward for me to do, okay? But the fact that it's awkward, I just sort of thought, well, you know, People like Sarah, they're not doing this for themselves, although, you know, I know there's an element of that. Um, you know, they're doing it for us, aren't they? Thank you for watching. Hopefully still see you again soon. So it will just be the next, let me see, one, two, two more videos will be dedicated to the Canary Craftivist theme. And then we'll be back to our normal videos. Or maybe we won't. Bye.